I have one. Oh more. god, one of us is gonna have to change. <laughs> oh no, fuck you! I have mine on already. So, <laughs> so did I. Uh, screw it. Leave them on. It's fine. Will this be disgusting? <laughs> oh, oh you're matching. It's okay. matching and everything. <laughs> Do you know what? I can unmatch. It's a beautiful thing. I don't have any things on, but I can unmatch. <laughs> so you put your hood on to unmatch? If this works, I can unmatch. I wasn't ready for this. You didn't tell me. I didn't know. I decided just now when I saw my camera. Be prepared. Is uh oh there we go yeah his internet's okay now looks like I'm ready when everyone else is ready to be honest yep yep oh, cool I uh, cannot see Caesar yeah neither can I neither can I no, well to say if you're on if you're on stream and you and you can't see if there's a voice from the darkness then it's Caesar <laughs> yeah. Right, that should have turned me off, and then that should have put it back on again. But how do we turn you on? There we go. There, oh, we there go. you go. But how do we turn mm. you on? <laughs> <laughs> the, way he's, the way he's lying uh, as well. Apparently <laughs> I do it myself. <laughs> but how do we turn you on? Ah, uh, yeah, we're cool. Alright, so I'm ready to start whenever anyone else is ready to start. Oh, uh, yeah. Jacob, what are you doing today? Are you... In Durham, you are in Durham, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm in Durham. Do you want to come to Head of Steam in a bit after this? Yes. Yeah, sure. I, I, like, I, I know um, Dan and Chris who were planning on heading out anyway, so like we can like VAs and what have you. Cool. Um, all right. So, uh, everyone comfortable with the characters and just carrying on because we've only got like an hour and a half. So I thought we'll just, you know, hour Let's half. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, by the way, if you discover a typo in the in the Star Wars scroll, that was mine, not Sam's. Um, I was rushing, so. But yeah, that's right. She's told us already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, like, everything's ruined. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I told them that too. <laughs> I, just, I just I just slapped the table over. This this like went from a shower. All right. Um. So, you guys are all on the altar, and you're currently uh, floating above. Aeon, which is a uh, a space pickup and refueling port, uh, but it's also it's built around an old gate that was found here. It looked like a gate about it's found like thousands of years ago by the by the uh, uh, I've forgotten my own races, the Keratan. It was found by the Keratan like a couple of thousand years ago, and no one's ever been able to divulge where it does, apart from it can get you from one place to another, but they don't know what the other end of it is. Um, that's just like a historical thing. This isn't something that you found out now and you're like, oh my god, it's it's been known for ages and it's not active. Um, so they built a starport around it so you could refill your ship and things. Um, but as soon as you guys have pulled into, have jumped into the system, um, it's picking up your ship. You've noticed that it's pinging your ship, and you all, none of you are stupid. You all know that your ship is a, of a very old make, and so it's it's just pinging off this. Nothing's happening. It's just it's pinging. Um, what have you done with the corpse of Alistar? Because this could be a quite a nice start to the session, or it could be a really yeah. fucking quick to the session. To right out the airlock. I, yeah, if you've done that, then we're I, was thinking, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking we would at least shoot him into the sun or something because he loved fire so much. Like, that's all we really know about him. And then there's no chance of him coming back. <laughs> uh, yeah, you say that. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so what did you... You guys can take a vote. I mean, you, you, you discover him on the bridge. Um, if we go back in time a little bit, you discover him on the bridge and he's just sitting there like... And it's like, you know, caked and his, his skin's all like melted and he's like fused to the chair just like... Ew. In, in his final moments of, uh, you know. And uh, he's, he's actually scraped into the into the side panel. I regret nothing. It was quick. Full stop. Like, so, but it looks like it's been burned there, so he's done that with his last little bit of energy before he's died. And uh, the, 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 Zero One is nowhere to be found. Like, All you can find of Zero One, um, 
Actually, in fact, fact, you can find that later on, doesn't matter. I think, didn't you say in the last session we checked the cameras and his last words were fuck you, Alistair, yeah, yeah, and yeah, blew yeah. out the airlock? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, 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 can, you can see the so claw marks where he's tried to stay in the in the ship and then been pulled out. So, yeah. Um, the ship's battered and bruised, but it's got away from the ambush. That was said last time. Um, so what do you guys want to do? You're on you on the ship, wherever you want to be, I can put you. Because I've got the ship up here. So Alistar's room. Do you want to leave Alistar's room as it is? <laughs> do you want to... Where is it? Geographically? I'm putting you on now. Like on. is it is it close to the room? By the way, if anyone's watching, um, I'm not harsh enough to like like David hasn't been kicked off the show because he's dead. All right, he's just making another character and he'll come back in as another character. But uh, I'm not that harsh. Yeah, mm. Alistar's room is here. It's quite it's bigger than most of the rooms you've got. Hmm. Okay, I want his room. <laughs> 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 Does anyone else want that room? It's not even cold, man. Uh, I'm happy with it? my room. I'm good. Brewery. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with my room. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing C. Oh, yeah, you already <laughs> put in your walk in closet. In the yeah. Room, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sure. You, got, you got that room. You got that room. Yes. All right. Brewery. <laughs> uh, what, are you, uh, what are you going to do with, yes. with uh, Caesar's effect? Caesar? Mm. Oh, no. Me no, well. no, 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 uh, no. Foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing. Okay. What are you going to do with Alistar's effects? Alistar's effects. Uh, uh, Shur uh, I'm, I'm just going to say Shurik goes to the um, first thing we see. You, know, you guys pry Alistar out of the chair. And Shurik just goes and just like st sidesteps out the room, just like. <laughs> and, and just goes and like takes or go rushes into Alistar's room, right Shurik's room with a smiley face on the door and slams it shut. <laughs> you turn around Shurik as they're they're pulling the the corpse somewhere else, and you see all of Alistar's effects there. What you what you gonna do? Um, is there an airlock in my room? There is an airlock <laughs> uh, here. That's an airlock. Would you want an airlock right. in your room? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. It could be handy, or it could not be. You know, it depends on the situation, I guess. Um, I'm going gonna, gonna to go here and pay my respects to his things and flush it out the airlock. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are like um, at the... You are at the main viewpoint, which is around here somewhere. Just like looking down. And as you're all there with his body, you just see all of his effects just like float past slowly out the window. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna meet everyone else on the bridge. All right, yeah. Uh, so put yourself here, and everyone draw yourselves here, and I'll draw Alistar there as well. Here. Yeah. So Alistar is. Uh... That's on the star. So, uh, where'd he go? What the do, fuck? That did not work. Alistar, the corpse is here. There we go. Okay. So the turd, the red turd is Alistar's corpse. <laughs> and, uh... Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> and, so uh... Rude. What do you guys want to do with it? Because uh, Shurik, you come back with quite a pleased look on your face. It's like, you room for me. And you just, like, <laughs> stand there with your arms folded like, no one's going to question these pecs. And uh, so what, what What are you guys going to do? What are you, what are you all going to do with these? With his body? Well, I feel like we shouldn't keep it on the ship. I mean, the odor alone is just going to be just horrible. Mm. So we need to put it somewhere. And plus he's dead, so that'll add to the odor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I think he'd have wanted um, to have been cremated, although that is just a guess. He kind of cremated himself, didn't he? He, he made so a start on it, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. maybe 
we should just finish the job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't finish the job. <laughs> so, that sounds like actually a good idea. I think Caesar yeah. would be all for that. Ceremonial okay. body burning. You guys can go and do that. I don't have a problem with that. Let's do that. Let's do that in CIC. Why not? In the CIC. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good place. <laughs> Let's do it. It's just like laying, it's closed space. It's... it's like laying down on top of Salas' black box. And it's like, yeah, so here is a great place for a pyre. <laughs> um, is, does the ship have a furnace? Um, it, it has no. It, there's no, it has no need for a furnace. Like at all. Like mm. you're, supposed to get, you're supposed to space your waste. And just... Like the, the the ship, the Hawking engine has got nothing to do with fire or, combust or combustion, so um, um, Caesar can tell you more about it if you want to ask him if you can plunk a body in there. How big's the oven in the kitchen? That that would cook oh, him disgusting. Rather, than, rather than ew. What well, if we just yeah, sort of like? What if we just sort of do it in the hangar, then sort of we can sort of use the um, the airlock to like sort of regulate the fire because we don't want to like burn down the ship. Oh, Caesar's gone. You suppose you could do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think this is quite a macabre way we've gone down here. So, but, you know, um, you can do that if you want. You can dispose of the body however you like. You'd even give it over to somebody else to do if you want. If you really can't even bother doing anything, you can uh, say, fuck it, we'll just give it to this guy. Let's cremate him in the airlock. Mm hmm. Okay. Fair enough. So, uh, where are you going to get the fuel for the fire from? I would have said his personal effects. <laughs> 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 you, you, well, 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 Alice, you don't know where the, where the personal effects are. You just seem to go out the window and you don't know why. Yeah. So you can ask. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Can, okay. I, can, I, like, can we burn his bedding or his... I guess his furniture isn't combustible. Don't but... you mean Shurik's bedding and furniture? Shur Shur yeah, you, it's you're, all gone. You're, you're, no, no, no. Your mind picks up. You're like, that, that's my couch. <laughs> so you can object. No, no, no. You, 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 you can leave that there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, all of think? all of Alistar's things are disposed of already. Okay. What about um, the chair we found? It, we found him in. We found him in because really we yeah. need to dispose of that. You don't as want well. that chair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mara wants Let's a new chair. That okay. That's fine. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. If you're happy to do that. Okay, um, so the chair goes in, and you just you guys just nonchalantly set fire to the chair, and um, close the airlock, and through the airlock it just looks like it, his body is just not burning. Is it? He just sits on fire. Um, it's gonna take a, a like more fuel or a long time. Uh, at, that, at that moment, a uh, telemetry comes through on the intercom of the uh, CIC. Oh god. Marked urgent. Mm. Okay, well, Caesar's going to go and answer the telemetry. Before doing so, he's going to suggest that we up the um, the oxygen concentration in the in the airlock. Okay. The room, yep. Just to kind of spur the fire and then walk off with that thought. He says, uh, uh, yep, uh, you go over and you, you key in the accept button, and uh, the voice near the end says, uh, hey, uh, this is uh, Aeon Control. Uh, we are detecting a fire on your on your ship. Uh, is everything okay? Do you want us to... We're sending uh, rescue teams in now to try and uh, put out the blaze. I think it's in one of your airlocks. No. It's down to one of your airlocks. No, everything's fine. We're just disposing of some garbage, you know, as you do. By, it's, um, by setting it's a it on fire? Nature. You have an airlock. Just put it out the fucking airlock. What's wrong with you? You're it's burning sensitive oxygen. nature. We need to... What do you mean something? Well, we've got advanced systems that can recoup it. It's fine. It's fine. Just just don't worry about us. We'll be in in a minute. Thank you for your concern. If, if this is another sex off. bot that you're trying to get rid of, I swear to God, there, there will be serious ramifications. <laughs> this, this is not... 
Uh, anyway, uh, they're on the way now. I can't call them back. They're already like locking onto the to the airlock. So just go and radio them by the airlock and tell them to, to just step back. It'll be fine. Okay. Thanks for your help. Um, I'm just gonna kick them off. You, you, you just hear like fucking pervert as he switches off the <laughs> the thing. Um, Caesar, make her a speed roll to see if you can get back in time to to tell them to. Oh, okay. Oh. You'd pass it anyway. It's fine. Okay. Um, so you get back uh, just as the doors open. So none of the guys knew they end of harm by the fire. They've got like pre-warned about what's going on. But the pe people, you guys standing by the airlock, are looking in at that. And you see these guys come in like hazmat suits, but like pressurized, and they just like lay on the foam on this uh, on this fire. So now, now Alistar resembles a blackened horse ice cream, just like <laughs> sitting there. Like that. Oh. There's no most undignified. <laughs> I told you guys we should have just shot him into a sun somewhere. We can do that now, but we need to get rid of the people that were in the airlock. So it kind of piss people off if we do that. You know, while we're there. You're coming too. Can we tell these? Can we tell these guys to leave? Yeah, it's your shit. Just, just really frustrated. It's your shit. They're kind of putting a, a diner on the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> what by what by foaming the corpse? <laughs> how how, how cremated is Alistair's body at the moment? Kind of is it uh, well or is no, it? No, it, it's cooked. It's well seasoned. I'd say it's, it's well seasoned. <laughs> well seasoned. It's Edible, basted. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. And what about the chair? How how far has the chair gone? The, the, the chair's pretty burnt. Yeah, like the, these things are designed to survive. Burnt. You know, the the ship burning. You know, so they're not. It's not going to go anywhere. Mm. This isn't good enough. Can we... Right, Caesar's so gonna... suggest that we move him out of that airlock and move into another airlock away from these people. Mm -hmm. just, just, like, scoop up the foamy crap that they've created and move it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Sure, do you wanna help, do you wanna help me with that? We... Yeah, sure. Move him out to another airlock? Let's do it. Let's do that. I don't really want to vent these people in space, so... Where's another airlock, Dean? Um, the other airlock will be the, any any side door here, anywhere where you see like this, anything with these on will be. That's an airlock. Oh. This is an airlock. Okay. Let's move around there then. Yeah. These are airlocks, but they're underneath the uh, underneath the substructure. So even if they opened, there nothing would happen. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna get sucked out of no. my bedroom. No. Okay. This is an airlock. This is an airlock. This airlock. Is there any way that we can vent him out behind the thrusters so that he would be burnt as he leaves? Yeah, if you did it here, you'd uh, you'd vent him out straight into the thrusters. That's for like a radio yes. radioactive waste and stuff, so it gets burned uh, as you're climbing along. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. So let's, no. let's just do that. <laughs> How many subtle jives is he going to have to take in his own funeral? Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Many He's not here. It's fine. As many as it takes. That's true. Guys, do you want to come and do you want to come and watch? Oh, you're already over there. That's keen. Okay. Okay. So we've put. I presume we've put his body into the airlock now. Repressurized it. Mm-hmm. So he's um or depressurized it. So he's ready to go. Uh, can people do me a favor? Can you go and check if the uh. Star Wars video is working because on mine it's working, but on other people's apparently it's not. It works I, for me. Yeah. I even I watched it, it after. Okay. It worked before for me. No, it's just not working this steady then. Okay. Mm. All right. I mean the new one, not not the old one. The new one. Does the new one just come up? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, checked the it. It went twice. Oh, okay. The one with the Star Wars Redemption sign after it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With okay. the with the wrong word in it. <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, I'm like ducked out of frame then. Just void everything. Yeah. So Dean yeah. Smith throws I, it I don't hit her. That's the thing. I... I... <laughs> Why? Well, I wasn't suggesting why you, it. <laughs> why do you feel the need to even say that? I don't know. I beat, <laughs> last time we had a fist fight, I won. But never you forget it. As well. that was, yeah. 
No, I'm only kidding. I don't want to know. This never happened. Okay. But anyway. It's, yeah, he's full of shit. Yeah. Um. All right. So you guys are going to space. Alright, you want to do the honors? And who's going to press the button? Press the button to. Yeah, who's gonna I'll press do the it. Button? I'll do it. You'll do it. Okay. Let's keep cool. Alright, uh, roll to. Sure, go. Uh, Shurik, roll against your intelligence to not press the wrong button. Thank fuck we're doing oh, it. Oh god. This yeah. week or not next Shurik's week, insane. that's all I'm saying. Is that the right one? That doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Alright. Can I put, um. What's your. Can I put it so. It's four? Oh god. Yeah. No. That's not that bad of a fail. I don't know. No. Um. Alright. That, do- that just doesn't open the airlock, that's all. That just doesn't open the airlock. Well, you can roll can it. I, I tried. He's just gonna go. Just press buttons until it works, if you want. <laughs> All right. Uh, just gonna press buttons until it works. There we go. Ten. No, there I... you go. Oh, okay. So you press <laughs> the right button and it, you, you like, and then you go, Ooh, bang, and you hit the right one and it, he just gets sucked out and, and then you see him just uh, go right into the thrusters and just and just explode as the ba- as the the channeling in his body just cast aids out and actually blows your ship on a little bit. Bit further than it what would have done normally, like the ships farted or something. So that's what Alistair would have wanted. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And uh, so there you go. The, the airlock's closed, and uh, you guys can now do whatever you want. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Well, that was fun. All right. <laughs> we need to get rid of those hazmat suit guys. Are they still here? Or did they leave? Uh, they're still there. They're in the airlock, just like wondering what the hell that was. It just busted the ship on a couple of, you know. I, I, I presume Let's just that play it off fighting. like thanks for putting out the fire, you know, now we'll leave. That, that sounds like a good oh. they, 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 they just give you the old, and then they get in their own little shuttle and they get out of here. Alright. Yep. I going to say, or we can open the airlock on them too. <laughs> Are you, uh, Don't need another Alistair, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you just I was gonna say, like, did you get possessed when he, he died? Speaking of possession, uh, later on that night, Alice, you're you're sleeping in your in your bunk downstairs. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, you are uh, awoken by a shrill scream, and you wake up and look mm-hmm. around your room and the scream wasn't actually a scream you like it comes in it sort of sounded like like a like a motor running really 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 highly like really you know almost to its to its maximum and yeah you see a man just sitting with his hands on his uh on his thighs in the corner of the room with his with a hood over his face mm-hmm um hello he just he just says uh goes shh, shh, shh. she's sleeping and you like look over to where he's pointing and there's like a moped that's just like like you know left there as he you know sort of like father christmas but really creepy like he just turned okay, okay. Yeah. I, 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 who's sleeping he said, Giselle, my my one and only love, my my the moped of the stars. She goes between the stars. She is my she is my love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she goes between the stars. Quote of the day. Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, Listen, I'm not gonna uh, like fuck around here because I've I've got like several parties to be at to uh, give people real scares when they're high. But uh, from what I can see where your ship is. You're actually near Relic, which is uh, somewhere very, very, very near and dear to my heart. I'll tell you what: if you go to Relic, there'll be riches there waiting for you. I promise. All right? I never lie. I never, ever, ever lie. Well. I've lied a few times, but this time I'm not lying. There will be lots and lots and lots of treasures there for you if you go to if you go to uh, you go to Relic. Hmm. Uh, there is something of mine there that a uh, certain individual has taken from me, and I want back. But you don't need to do anything about that. 
All you need to do is go there, find my temple, and they'll do the rest. They'll give you everything that you've ever wanted or needed. Okay. Um... Are you say... Go on. Sorry? Go on. No, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Um... You say Relic is close. Mm-hmm. Um... I'll try and persuade the others to, um, make a stop there. He says, uh, oh, good. And he gets up and he starts, like, firing up the old girl. He's like, oh, love it. And he comes over to you and he says, oh, and uh, one more thing. And he, like, places his hand on your shoulder. And you mm -hmm. see, like, images race through your head of, like, yeah. a, a, a thousand, thousand previous lives. Like, it's all blinking mm -hmm. out in front of you, all, all the way coming across, all throughout eternity. And it goes all the way back to... Uh, the extinction of the Empire of Earth when it was finally brought down and you're seeing like people mm -hmm. being wiped out by the millions uh, yeah. it's it's you know it's quite terrifying to you like you start sweating like beads of sweat like, like start coming down your forehead mm. as he keeps his hand on your shoulder and um, he finally lets you go you I to yourself. yeah I, I, I think sort of uh, probably um, be a bit shaky. I yeah. think it's, it w w would be a bit of an understatement. You have uh, one name etched into your mind, and that's Alahara, which is this. Uh, it's spelled this way. Just copy that across. Okay. And do I know what that name is? Is what no. its significance is okay, but um, you are getting uh, tired again, and he says, uh, "For now, I think that was tiring. Was it as good for you as it was for me?" <laughs> and he just like he he just like gives you a wink and says, "Ah, oh, don't forget about it. Uh, go to sleep." And he's like, "Put you to sleep again," and then uh, you wake up some time later, and you're alone in the room, like nothing's happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, are other people sort of up, or, or am I sort of like? Uh, 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 put, put it this way: Is it like a social? Uh, is it a sociable hour, or is it like waking up like three in the morning and expecting your family members up? Um, am I? Um, it, 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 I think everyone's asleep. I think everyone's asleep at the moment. It's about, it's about an hour before people normally get up. Okay, um, then I'm. Tell you what, I, I'm going to sort of try and find out where this sort of where relic is because he said it's close. So yes. that would, yeah, yeah. So I'll um, have a look because I, I won't be able to get to sleep. Okay. Well, you you, no, you, you go you go on the extra net. You go on the um you know the, this minute. Go on the cyber lane, surface cyber lane, which is called the extra net, and you're just mm -hmm. like doing a few searches around, and uh, you enter in Stan, and you don't get anything. You and you enter in Relic, and you get a few things back. Then you enter in Alahara, and yeah. uh, a few news pieces come of um basically just saying uh, there are several cults that have sprung up across the galaxy. Over the past couple of hundred years, all connected to this Alahara figure, but no one knows who it is. Apparently, it's an old god, a primitive god yeah. of some description, who has been uh, his worship is coming back. Because not a lot of people follow religions nowadays, um, hmm. but Alahara is something that people are, are co catching on to. So, yeah, okay. Um, and. Is there sort of any information about, about sort of any big sort of Alahara sort of um, shrines or sort of temples nearby? Um, the closest one you can actually sort of make out is one on Relic, but Relic it doesn't go by that name. It hasn't gone by that name since a cataclysm happened there, like a few hundred years ago. Um, hmm. Relic is the code name for it. It's actually called Planet Nine now. Okay. Um, 
So, and it's a cordoned off by most military forces. But the treasures that you can find down there, from what you can see on the, um, you can see that there are forums and stuff that you could get on if you got on the beneath the surface cyber lane. So if you could jack in, you could probably go on the criminal network and see what's there. But there's nothing on the on the surface extranet because obviously government shut it down and stuff. So yeah. So, so you can find rumors like Area 51. You can find rumors of it, but there's nothing there solid unless you go. You know, see so hmm. the, the Wikipedia entry for for relic. It has one, but it doesn't have like a. It's not. Yeah. Like, you know. Okay. Hmm. I might have to ask Caesar mm -hmm. to to jack in and have a look for me when he wakes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can fast forward to when they wake up if you want. Yeah. Alright, uh, so, so you, you pace your cabin for a while. Just uh, mm -hmm. trying on dresses to make yourself feel better. And then, because that's what women do. And then, um, eventually you um, realize everyone's woken up. Every, everyone keys in when they wake up just to, just to tell everyone that they're available to do some work if something's happened on the ship. And to, to tell mm -hmm. Silas that, that they're awake so Silas can give them any urgent news or messages that have come through for them. So, um, Caesar is awake. And um, we'll say no one else is awake, actually. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Everyone else is sleeping in. It, it, it's, it's technically Saturday in Minerva's Cradle, you know, everyone's <laughs> having a sleep. Yeah. In. It definitely feels like a Saturday. Caesar's mm -hmm. <laughs> just going to be doing his morning patrol of the ship, yeah. so you'll probably catch him at some point. Yeah. Um. Caesar. Yeah. Caesar? Are you there? Oh. No. I am now. I'm here, I'm here now, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Caesar, um, could you possibly do... Of course, anything. What can I do um, for you? You can sort of jack into the cyber lane and have a look at, um, Planet Nine for me. That is you knew by the way. Yeah. Um have a look at Planet Nine for me. Yeah, I could do that. Cyberlane's where I live, so an excuse to get back in. <laughs> Why not? Uh, thank CSE. You. Right, let's let's check in. See what I can find for you. Okay. Just me checking in. You're fine, this isn't like Right, so I'm looking for you, you could actually jack in on the ship without rolling for it. You're that good at it. You can just go, and you're in. Because it's not... There's okay. nothing stopping you. The only time you need to roll to jack in is when there's something actively stopping you from doing so. You know, like a program or something. Ah, uh, okay. And on the old tour, it just lets you in. This is me. Cool. You actually borrow some right, right, I'll have a look around. Power to just punch through and just go in. It's fine. Right, so I'm looking around for this Planet 9, you said, Alice. Is there anything else? Any other information? Um, Keywords that I might look for? Um, relic and... Cyberlane's a big place. Relic, and okay. Alahaba. Okay. Now, now you're rolling intelligence oh, right. to search through things. So, you can take that roll, actually. So, so you've... You've, oh, more, you've found Alahara on... Uh, and it's... And you found Relic. Um, and you basically have the story of what happened in the Relic campaign. Where there are lots of metahumans and subhumans that had developed on this planet that had been bombed by the uh, Keratan, uh, you know, a couple of hundred, couple of, but maybe a thousand years ago, um, because Relic was initially set up as a uh, cross-species experiment to see if everyone could live on the same planet and be fine, and the Keratan didn't want that because they've always had a uh, an elitist, you know, this is our thing. So uh, a bunch of their um, a bunch of their more extreme followers uh, detonated devices on the planet to like to basically wipe it clean. But it, it basically it did a fallout basically, so it didn't kill everyone. It just mutated a lot of them um, because there is no there are no nuclear oh. weapons on this, in this setting. It's all uh, done with the with the channeling and with void core. And as the as the Sevatar will tell you, the channeling changes the way you look. 
Um, so, um, yeah, they, 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 a couple of hundred years, not a couple of hundred years ago, about hmm, ten years ago now, um, a team, an unknown team of Kevatar, of Kevatar, of Keratan extremists, went back to Relic to try and finish the job, to cover everything up, uh, but they were stopped by a group of people who then escaped the planet. Um, and one of, and the people, the leader of the team who came to destroy Relic was actually one Kane, who you guys came across and killed in your last campaign in, uh, uh, and that's the thing that drove him insane, the fact that he was left there for so long. Um, so, you know that Relic is actually a place that was selected by this committee to do this cross-species experiment, because it had the highest concentration of Earthborn relics on it, so technically it's the richest uh, planet in the galaxy, most likely. Uh, you can literally go down there and go and get. You can be rich beyond your wildest dreams by staying there and filling your pockets for 24 hours and leaving. Um, and the reason why the Keratan wanted to blow it up is because they wanted to take off all of the most expensive things and then detonate it so no one else could get anything, get their hands on anything. And that's what you're reading on the cyber. Some of it's rumor, some of it's conjecture, but some of it is actually uh, military re reports that your team, um, well, Jacob's team, uh, made to the Minervans at the end of the Relic campaign and things like that, and photos and things of. Uh, and you, you find that the um, m much of Relic at the moment is under the control of one brutal uh, mutant warlord, who, you know just fights constantly, doesn't have any compunction to do anything else. Hmm. Okay, I'll export that to Alice's PDA, mm -hmm. and then jack out, presuming I found everything I need to do, mm -hmm. and then sort of leave her to look over things for a minute, and then ask her whether any of that seems familiar, whether it you know, looks like the right place. Mm -hmm. You also see that, uh, that the Cult of Stan uh, a sprung up here, and this is their this is their capital temple. Mm. Uh, and the amount of people who are trying to get down to the planet have been blown apart by Keratan fleets. Uh, well, not Keratan fleets, the more Senate fleets. So this is uh, this is in the, in the expanse. So it's under the the your Senate of Olympus, and their their fleet is blasts anything that gets into range while they do excavations on the planet. But they're currently fighting a war with this mutant warlord who's been uh, just annihilating them. But there, there's so many pilgrims trying to get to the surface to try and join this cult that, you know, they're starting putting out bulletin warnings saying, you know, if you approach, you'll be annihilated, sort of thing. Hmm. You know, so. A few okay, people so still we make the trip. Go there, don't we? Well, there a few people make the so. trip, and if and you, you're, what, from what you're reading, a few people get through as well. Like quite a few people actually get through. So. All depends on what kind of ship you have. Okay. How. Far is this place from us? Uh, two in jumps. Terms of jumps. Two jumps. Two jumps. Okay. And it's not through the gate or anything that we're nearby, or well, uh, in our in our space. And we you, don't you, you don't know. I mean, okay. you, you wouldn't know. Okay. You wouldn't know. Okay. Cool. Alice, does that does this information look familiar to you? Does this seem like the sort of place that you? Yep. Um, all of this looks um, as if it's... This is good, thank you. No problem. Have you seen mind when um, you want to meet the surface? Sorry? Didn't quite. I presume, you had, I presume you had something in mind when you asked me to search this. Did I, you, do you yes. want us to go down there? Um... If he could. Um, Do you mind telling me why, or...? Um, ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. <laughs> okay, well, I can't really say anything to that, and with that I'll go off and get breakfast and leave Alice to it. Alright, you go start and digging into what? some cornflakes. Used uh, space flakes, and um, space flakes, 
Yeah, so everyone's woken up now. So, um, sure, what are you going to be doing on the ship in the morning? Just, uh, what's your morning routine? Uh, gonna walk to the, the restroom, take a piss, go find <laughs> breakfast. Alright, uh, you find, um, Caesar sitting there, just, uh, at the, you know, munching into his, uh, bowl of space flakes. And he's, like, reading the paper, like, there's some, it's, it's actually like a hologram thing that he's just <laughs> flicking through of local news, are trying to find jobs, and, um, Caesar, you've, um, had, Salas has offered to order this, um, it's called Auto Pickup Beacon, and it basically allows freelance ships to go around, switch their beacon on, and let people know that they're ready to be hired, if they, if they want, so you can buy that if you wish. Okay. Yeah, why not? It's, uh, 700 credits for this thing. Okay. We got paid from last session, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, normally we don't handle when you get paid because there's no need. It's just that's just the wrap up, you know. It's not an, or unless yeah, it's some, unless it's like what happened with um, Emerson Cade, where you know shit happened, you know, then we'd cover it. But how much was our pay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we should have written it down last time. It's like it was five thousand, I think, each. Something like that. Seventy-five. Base. Um, yeah, base. Yeah. I think it was seventy-five. 75 yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, seventy-five, and then, right? Yeah. Oh, actually. Yeah, you said that was the base pay, depending on you know what. Yeah, we... I've got my black book. What? I, I presume that was it was. It was seventy-five base, and then you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got one hundred and five thousand altogether from that. From that. Okay. So you have a hundred. So split that three ways. Okay. Yeah, split that three ways. So thirty-five thousand so each. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've paid for the beacon then. If you would like to, um, that. because your money is going to be reset when we go over to the new rules. Uh, you can elect mm -hmm. to spend this all on your ship if you wish. In between sessions, mm -hmm. so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else would we do with the money, since it's going to be reset anyway? Mm -hmm. That was a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you could buy some Nothing, stuff for yourself if you want, but you'd have to do it in the new rules. Like uh, armor and weapons. That sort of stuff? Yeah, mm. I also have your sword here, hang on. Let me just get it up. I am excited. Now you've reminded me. <laughs> Writing, Minerva's Cradle. You guys just carry on doing whatever you want to do. Uh, Minerva, uh, Mara, where are you at the moment? Uh, probably near the bridge in CIC, making sure everything's alright. Cool. And is everything all right? I mean, do you want to want to know what, what else is there? You, you you find an you're finding a lack of a pilot's chair. That's not there anymore. So you're you're, yeah. ge you're generally thinking that's the one thing I've got to buy straight away. Is a pretty decent chair. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I did not want the one Alistair got melted to. Good. Mm -hmm. So you never get the smell out. Yeah. Do we have anything I can use until I can buy a pilot's chair? Um, like we have a co-pilot thing. Though. Yeah, you can sit there, but it would also be like um. Yeah, you can sit there. It's fine. You'd have to move I mean, across. Well, I have to do something until I can get a new chair. Yeah. Like we're not just gonna float out here, you know, waiting for one to get to us. Oh look, pilot's chair. So that's probably what I'd be working on, is a temporary fix for my lack of chair. To, like, um, you can go and get like a stool. Okay. And put it in front of the thing. I mean, it's the most low tech thing. Like you wouldn't want any any other pilots to see you like this because it would be so embarrassing. But you just like, whatever. I'll just use this chair. And uh, just get, like, a okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Just you know, if it gets us to where we need to go. I can get a new spine. 
So I'm having to write this out because it doesn't copy across correctly. So. Sure, because he's just telling you about how, the fact that he's kind of worried about Alice and the fact that she might be joining a cult and, you know, all the things that she just asked him to, to search on the, on the side lane. Well, did she tell you out for her. why she wanted us to... Well, no, that was the thing. She was kind of evasive about it and she said... She said, um... That she didn't want to tell me anything, um... And she didn't really say why. So, it was all a bit hush-hush and... Yeah, I don't really know what to make of it, to be honest. I tried to press it, but obviously she wasn't going to give anything up. So... I don't know. First Alistar, now this. Yeah. It's a bit fishy. Watch Shuriko quiet as his swords come up on the... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I must read this. It, it's a bit... <laughs> Talk to the Just pull the sword out, just look at it <laughs> while, while I'm having a conversation. Look at this! <laughs> look at it! <laughs> I want all of you to look at it. Yeah. That's only, that's only 40 points less damage than a lightsaber. Enough. We should show you how generally overpowered lightsabers are in the new, in the new setting. Mm. That's why we don't get them for a long time. Yeah. You'll see them, but you won't get them. Oh, just ta taunt us with them. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Uh, well, we'll discuss this later anyway. But anyway, um, yes, that's your sword. And yes, you're worried about Caesar's worried about Alice joining a cult. Yeah. Uh, Alice, I'll, would you the leap a turd of? Would you try to? <laughs> Good idea. Would you steer us towards, or try and steer us towards Relic without us knowing? Like, would you take control of the ship and try and jump us there anyway? Or is that not something you'd do? Um, it's not something that I would do. No. Okay, so you got, so your next step is to convince Mara to take you to wherever you want to go. Well, well I'll put it this way, sort of, I, I would only go there, sort of, really with everyone on board with the idea. Okay. Or, 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 or so like a majority. I, okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, just fly us there without you knowing. Yeah, that would be a good yeah. way to piss Mara off. Like, I teach you to fly, and this is what you do. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to roll. We need to roll. Okay, good. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do, uh, Alice, you make your way up to the bridge, obviously. That's what you want to do. And you sit down to have your daily lesson with Mara. Mm -hmm. um, so first of all, we'll do the result of the lesson. So Mara, roll your intelligence just to pass on your knowledge. By Intelligence. Yep. This might not go well. Hang on. Uh, is there a charisma thing? Flash. You can do intelligence or flash they're, depending on your teaching style. They're tied. Down. Or oh, I think on. they're tied. Let me see what they are. Um, if you miss yeah, one, my flash and in, my flash and intelligence are tied. If so you miss one, matter. I'll give you a reroll on the others. On, on like on another one. Okay. Oh, oh no, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, and Alice, you need to roll a intelligence to take in the information, but it, need, it, it needs to be like, I'd say, 70. Just get 70 or below and you'll be fine. Unless your intelligence is what? Oh, shit. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, we're awesome, go. apparently. <laughs> right. This, this, uh, this session has gone incredibly well. And, you, and Alice, you now get to add, you now get to pilot the ship at, um, what's your perception right now? Uh, my perception is nine. Okay. Um, you're okay. You could just remove the debuff temporarily. Like, doesn't she get like a like debuff? Minus twenty like... or plus twenty, or like okay. something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, you. you she's uh, not a real pilot. It goes down to plus five now. Your debuff goes down to plus five. Okay. And Mara. You get a minus 15 buff to your your flying rolls because you're now classed as a instructor. Do you know what I mean? So you've passed on your knowledge. So you're 
a much better nice. pilot for passing on the knowledge. Is that for this session or...? Nope, it's for... Just in general? In general. Yeah, awesome. Mm. That's cool. Um, so Alice, if you want to pop the question, now would be your time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. wish. I'd I've been gandering and reading this to our and not too long. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> too far. So, gonna... Mark. <laughs> okay. so, sorry, what? Are you going to call us all in, or are you just are you just going to try and approach Mara on her own first, um, and then? I think sort of Mara on her own for okay. now, basically. That sort of. Um, so Mara, sort of, de um, there's this. Planet that I've that sort of I think um, we should visit. Sort of I think it might be quite um, profitable and a way for us to sort of um, sort of move on from Alistar's early passing. Oh, did did someone give you a mission? Or? Uh, um, in a sense, sort of they were very vague about it um but at, but at the same time sort of um a, a sort of I, um, I i asked caesar to sort of have a look at it um into this planet and it looks at a sort of there's it it could be very profitable okay i don't know how legit that sounds but Have you have we talked to Shirk about this or like how much have uh, you talked to Caesar? I, I um I um sort of Caesar did a bit of research for me and um uh, this morning and I haven't seen Shirk yet. Yeah, I mean sounds a bit sketchy. Mm. Yeah. We don't have a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. It's... I understand that. But, I don't know, I'm willing to see what everyone else has to say on the matter. Hmm. Okay, I, I think sort of there in the kitchen, maybe sort of getting um, breakfast. Maybe. Um, but I... It's like Shirk is listening to Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just, he just like loving it. <laughs> Alright. Um, Mara, uh, you look cool. around on your, um, there's a button on the dash of the ship that's never done anything before and it's pinging now. And it says, uh, Oh god. It says, uh, Gate Terminal Velocity Met. Uh, press, um, uh, press, press, press button one to navigate, press button two to engage. Silas, what is this? He just like, he just like, sort of like, what? I, I don't know, it's, uh, uh, if you press button one, nothing should happen. It should be fine, you should just get like a map or something from what I'm reading. Alright, um, okay, I'll press button one, I guess. Okay. Uh, a map comes up in front of your display. With a language that rip, that looks like old ancient Latin, which is quite hard to read, but you can read it. It's like old English for, for us, and it basically uh, shows three jumps, and they're impossibly far away. These are jumps that are just a way beyond technology. That is like it's like you're doing about twenty jumps in one, you know, in one uh, fell sweep. Uh, I actually told a fib before that relic isn't. Um, Two away, it's twenty away from from my map as well. So it's twenty jumps away, and one of the things, the central one is relic, and there's two others as well. There's Poseidon, and uh, another planet that I can't think of the name of right now, which is. But you can go to any well, of them, but it, or not on all of them. It's up to you. Poseidon is on the map, isn't it? Like the yeah, it's it, it's all the way back in the Minervan. You've literally you can travel across the galaxy with this with this jump if you wanted. From what it's telling you. Oh um, god. I sort of point to um, Relic 
and say sort of, oh, that's the planet. That's the um, one I was talking about. Mara <laughs> finds this very strange and coincidental that it just happens to pop up as Alice is telling her about it. It's almost like there's a godlike like... hand behind it all, pulling the strings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. You know what? Since it's relic popping up, I'm gonna ask Alice what this is about because I think Mara would think that Alice has something to do with this. It just seems way too coincidental. What's going on, Alice? Alice, you hear a voice in your head, and it's the guy, and he says, uh, "Just tell it all for the best, you know." Like I'm, I'm kind of chonged right now, so I can't really give you that much help, but. Uh... No, just tell us for the best. I did. I went through a lot to organize this. All right. This is like technology beyond any and what any of you can understand. Just uh, you know, I can sort of fiddle with it from here, but I can't get a good feed on it from where I am. Mava, I I can honestly say that I don't fully understand it, but. I've heard that this is for the best, and certainly my associate has been sort of working hard to to put this into motion. Okay, you are really starting to freak me out. Shirk, Caesar, can you come here for a bit? Sure, be right up. Yeah, sure, on my way. Hey, you guys just get there. Okay, I'm gonna show them what randomly happened to pop up on my thing. And... Yeah. Alice, did you do this? I mean, you mentioned this planet to me earlier today. <laughs> this, this, this can't just be coincidence. Shook just like comes in like panting. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's been running like that off the... It's like trying to like. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Why to... like? Because <laughs> he's like he's just so big. He's like just trying to, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think because he's got really small like T Rex arms. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Had it this whole time, and we just haven't mentioned it before now. Between <laughs> <laughs> this massive. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Alex, tell me, goddammit, what what is this? Where are you getting this information? I I don't properly understand. Um, Mara's getting pretty my question at this or... point. Like, this is all she's been saying. <laughs> this is all <laughs> that I can get out of her. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Look, I, I don't... I, I don't know sort of um, details in his story and what well, have you, but there's this guy called Stan, and you mean like the cult of Stan that we read about earlier? <laughs> That's the cult yeah. I was telling you about. It, yes, 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 um, and. He seems to have been laying sort of this path for us to follow. And um, I think that sort of going to Relic is the next stage in this trail of breadcrumbs. And the, the prize for most unconvincing <laughs> arguments in the history of the galaxy goes to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Alice, roll um, Flash. This is when your character can save your poor argumentation. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> um, and, and to be too fair, it's not that big a deal because you, you're playing a really luscious blonde woman. And if there's one person in the world who's as far away from luscious blonde woman as you can get, it's probably either you, me, or... I don't know anyone else, but like, yeah. any of you. <laughs> so it's not your role playing that's the problem. It's like it's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. how far away the it's... character is from who you actually are. Um, yeah. 
So, uh, you passed out flying colours. Everyone's going to have to take a intelligence check uh, to try and resist her uh, charms. Uh, but oh take God. a plus 26 to it. Okay. Caesar's fail. Um, that, that's, that's not equal. That's, oh. that's a fail. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. That's horrible. Oh, oh wow! Oh no, Mauer. <laughs> no. Does anything bad happen? Intelligence. <laughs> oh, about to Intelligence mine up. fail. Alright, so. No! Uh, Ma Ma Mara, you, you're not taken in by this at all. You're like, you know what? I'm sick of this bullshit, right? I'm sick of you. Yeah, top points, got to I'm sick of you. Look, 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 just talking around in circles. This is my ship, right? I put my fucking life and soul into this, and I don't want to go up there. And you, you, you press the button to relic as you point towards the thing. Oh and, my god! And, <laughs> and the uh, and and you can just see it's, like, it's almost like a mass relay. You can just see like like the gate in front of you. It actually looks like a like a ring, and that and it just starts going. Just starts turning. It starts going around like that. Okay. And 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 the, and the ship just starts like glowing blue, and then you you see like the uh, the space station in front of this gate just disintegrate, just absolutely disintegrate in like all of the in a mishmash of colours and it's pulled apart by the forces, and you just go zonging through the gate, and you immediately come crash through uh, the other side, and there's this massive giant orange orb in front of you that you're flying towards. And if you look, you look on your telemetry, and you can see that there is a massive fleet ringing the planet, but it's behind you. You've actually jumped in behind the fleet that's designed to stop anyone from coming down into the planet. Oh my god. So, what's your reactions to this? Well, shit. Yeah, she's just straight into the ship and trying to put the um, the front shielding up as soon as possible. So I will do that. Uh, yeah, the the, the the fleet's behind you, not in front. Oh, the fleet's behind us. Okay, yeah. right, rear shielding up then. Okay. Shielding that rear. Any... Alright. Shielding that rear. Good stuff. So yeah, yeah, the the, the rear is shielded up. They're, they're they're turning around, bolt faced, to fire at you. Um, Mara, Ugh. go ahead and uh, try and do some ducking and diving. Anyone else want to do anything on the ship to try and help you along? Shirk's gonna run over to the gun. Okay. Um, Wherever that is, you go. I'll... It's here. It's I mean, this massive it's gun a thing. fleet, so I don't oh. know how. How much? I'll head down to the engine room. I guess. Okay. All I'll right. Put you on the engine room. I will try and evade I'm their. Say pun. Yeah, try and evade them. Wait, Alice, what are you doing? And uh, rather than being yes, I succeeded. <laughs> what are you doing? That? What are you going to do? It all went according to plan. <laughs> um. Yeah, Stan's like oh, divine yes. intervention. Like made me point just a little bit too far. <laughs> this fucking yeah. Zinch over there with his everything's going according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm probably going to, um, mm, is there anything useful for, for, for me to do? Like, a combination center maybe, you know, yeah. that, you, you can go. Be, you can go on the comms in case anyone wants to try and comm link here. Yep, yep, that works for me. That went so well last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the, uh, the ships behind you, uh, five of the juggernauts. To start lancing you with fire. Um, so you guys have in the new. We'll do it on the new rules. You have 120 HP on your ship, which is good. Um, so uh, each of their weapons does 35 damage. Just so you can, you know. Uh, what you guys want to do, uh, Mara? Um, I'm going to let you evade because you're not going to want to fight them, obviously, unless you want to. No. I don't want to fight them. No. Okay. Uh, that so seemed like a good idea. I did that last session. <laughs> Roll 10, 10 checks. 10? Yeah, perception okay. checks. This is a very hard thing to do. Ugh. There's some good rolling, though. Bloody hell. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you, you're just really like... Good. That, that, is, that is really good, because there's fire coming from all directions, and you're just weaving out in, in between this fire as you're coming down towards the planet's surface, 
and you're trying to pull away from the planet so you can go somewhere else, but you're in this gravity well already, so you're like, shit, so you, you decide to just, um, do you want to try and pull away from the planet? And maybe get in the some of more fire from these guys, or do you want to negate the fire and go straight towards the planet's gravity well? Um, whatever involves us not taking as much fire. Okay, straight towards the planet's gravity well, and so you just slam down and just dive into the gravity well because it'll throw off the missiles as they come in. Um, so do another ten checks for me. These oh, are a bit God. easier than the last time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you bang even. Five, uh, not good. Five, good. So, fire hits the back of the ship a few times and does 35, 35, uh, do, 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 do. 70 damage. All in all. Well, I forgot my negative 15. Does that matter? No, because okay. the, because the threshold that I set is quite a hard thing to do. You have beat it five times, okay. which is good. It means the ship isn't destroyed. So uh, you get like smacked into the into the the back of the ship. Uh, Caesar downstairs. Um, you mm. are having some real trouble there, like downstairs. Uh, your a, a lot of the the Hawking engine is taking a real pounding, and the void core stabilizer is about to blow. Um, because they've got to the stage where I've got other mitts on and like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're running around naked. Stuff down. <laughs> you're, you're, literally, yeah, you're, you're literally, you're like, you're like Ace Ventura in the Rhino. You were literally just like, you know, sweating <sighs> bollocks Let's down see. there, and uh, it's gonna right, blow. Right. You, you need more, more, more than one pair of hands. You need like two or three pairs of hands to get things, just to bash buttons while you switch things over. <laughs> okay. Obviously, the ship is down here. A bigger crew. Someone. Uh, um, I I can go. Okay, so, please. Yeah. Hurry! It's, stuff's burning and I'm sweating. It's horrible. It's not just horrible down. <laughs> I guess the, se the second thing he said was, and I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So like, I'll, I'll go down and. Uh, Shurik, you heard that as well. Everyone heard that. Um, well, I'm preoccupied. Mm -hmm. Uh, are we in any immediate danger currently? Because um, even if you <laughs> were, you can't, are, like even, if, even if you were, you can't fire back. Oh. So you're out of okay. range. Of well, your then I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run down too, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put you both on the engineering deck, so you can. Yeah, there's no danger. It's just ships firing at us, and all right. Let me just. Uh, is about to explode. And let me just. The usual stuff. Okay. The usual stuff. Then, then we'll be fine. Okay, I am... Um... Sure, can you, you hit the control buttons, I'll tell you what to do, just... I need to be over here right now, next, remember, right next to the uh, fireball, well, that's what happens. you remember how well that went last time, when we were trying to... Yeah. Trying to get rid of Alistar. Yeah, yeah well, don't remind me. Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, the, the things aren't looking great down here. In fact, I'll put more on, you can see through the video feed what's going on. With you turning okay. the ship around and doing all your stuff. Oh my god! So, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, stuff has exploded. Um, so Alice, Alice just comes on the intercom and goes and just says, uh, "I'm venting most of the smoke into space, but if you, uh, I swear, if you get me killed twice, I'll come back and I'll haunt your fucking asses." And it switches it off again. Who said that? Silas. Oh, Silas. Okay. So you said <laughs> Alice. No. <laughs> right now, if we don't get this sorted out. Um, Alright, so uh, what are you guys going to do? It's fire um, everywhere. Push buttons and. Uh, unless you die. Sorry? I'm sorry, what was that? Unless space suits, yep. Yeah. Space suits? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Space there suits. are space suits, yeah, but you don't really need them, you know. Hmm. Well, I was thinking we could. Vent the whole compartment into space and get rid of the fire would be good. You might want to get out of there. First, so. <laughs> well, we, yeah, I want to, but <laughs> <laughs> I can just see Caesar putting a spacesuit on. Okay, go ahead. 
Yeah. I, aren't there <laughs> also fire extinguishers like here? Yeah, yeah, they're fire extinguishers. Yeah, but they're not they're not big enough to cope with the <laughs> the fire as it is. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's gonna you're grab like, one anyway. You're, like, you're like pissing onto a volcano, basically. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so there, 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 there are sequences. But basically, Caesar, you just need to direct people around and mm -hmm. do your checks. That's all you need to do. I, well, I've told I've told Sherrick to hit buttons in the control console, and I'm telling him what to do. But okay. Right. Alice is, oh, Alice is over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing right. stuff over there. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, like I, I'm so, ready for your instruction. So I'm going to give you a minus ten buff for each of the people you have there, and you're going to give intelligence right. rolls now. Um. Uh, Oh, and you need no, to get that's the wrong number. You need to get a sixty. Because it's quite a hard thing to do. Oh, that's good. Minus twelve. Yep, yeah, and I need another nine checks, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, crit. It's fine. That's a fail. Okay. That's a pass. That's a pass. That's another pass. That's a fail. That's a pass. That's another crit. Another crit. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so you guys succeed with flying colours. This goes out over here. The void, the hawking engine's now stabilised, but the stabiliser's still, uh, uh, still, it's overtaxed because it's, it stabilises this thing, but it's still been damaged. So you're going to need another, another 10 rolls to fix that. And you now need to get at least 8 passes to get that out of there. I'll just get out of the way. Just let me get at the, at the console, okay? One. Two. Three. Nope. Oh, yeah. Four. Five, just. Six. Nope. Yep, yeah, eight, and do the next two. But, but isn't 69 a crit? Oh yeah, 69 is a... No, yeah, but only no. not... It was after no, the modifier. It's not a hard 69. Yeah. It's not a hard 69. A hard 69. <laughs> wow. Hard, soft, <laughs> 69. Wow. <laughs> alright, alright, so this is out, but you can tell it's not going to last much longer, so if Mara takes much more fire, you'll have to do this all over again. So let's just... Mara, if the ship... Did you hear that, Mara? Okay, Mara, another, another 10 checks for me, because you're barreling down oh, towards the planet's surface. Oh god, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very How many? Ten. Mm -hmm. It's five passes. So just ten. <laughs> five more. Jeez. Huh. Jesus that Christ. Was, that was ten. Okay. <laughs> so you've like passed ten straight. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. So you're, you're like doing a somersault to get over the fire and stuff as you're barreling down towards the surface. And I'll just do a. Just to see if. <laughs> The mysterious GM. Okay, so a a single a lone um, missile smacks into the into the shields, but doesn't do much damage. And you come down onto the planet's surface, but you're realizing that pulling out will just make the void core stabilizer uh, hot. And so you need to know what's going on on there before you pull up out of the planet. Okay. So I'll, you know, comms to Caesar. Hey, what's going on down there? Um, th there was fire. There's less fire now. Um, we're kind of busy down here. What's that's going on out right there? That's our tech guy. There was fire. <laughs> there's less fire. <laughs> there is less fire. There was fire. I have successfully unfired it. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell him about how I can't pull up unless the the void core stabilizer is mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, can we land somewhere? I mean, I'd rather not heat this thing up anymore, otherwise it's going to blow. Okay. Do I see anything where to land? Um, you can't. You can see. Yeah. You, you you come through the atmosphere. You go oh, and just power down, and you you your ship just shakes as you're coming through the atmosphere, re-entering, and then you smash through the clouds. You can see this like orange desert wasteland come out before you. And eventually, you just like come down and settle down on some like nice pocketed sand on a hillside. 
rocky hillside. And the void, the void core stabilizer starts to cool down. And uh, Caesar, do some um, routine maintenance for me. So do five checks without your two people now. This is just your intelligence. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, okay. you, you can see that the void core stabilizer needs a few replacement parts. It's not going to get off the ground. Um, and it's good that you landed when you did, or it would have just blown. And when you, if you'd have tried to come back out of the planet, it would have, or do anything too stressful, it would have just blown up. Uh, so you need uh, three or four new parts. Okay, I'll make a list of the parts that I need on my PDA. Head back up to the bridge. If yep. Everything's okay. There's uh, for, less for, fire. For, for the sake of, um, we'll just call them parts one through four. You know, so you don't. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't so, know what they were. Yeah, neither did I. So you head up towards the bridge with everyone else, and you can see Marge, like looking out over this landscape with like a worried look on her face. And uh, but Alice sort of has a look of recognition on her face and has like a smile of like she's been here before. But Alice, you're really confused because you haven't been here before. You know you haven't, but you feel like you have. Hmm. Alice, what are you smiling about? It's crashed and died. I I I was no, just sort of. The landscape looks familiar. Familiar, eh? Yeah, okay. that, that's all just familiar. Well, I agree with Mara. There's something weird going on here, but you obviously won't tell us, so I guess we should continue with your your plan that's been laid out for us. What's next? Um, so there's a um, there's a shrine, I, I believe, sort of somewhere on this planet, and that's where sort of all of um, lots of sort of old Earth relics are. So sort of that's where the money is, and maybe also sort of the parts to replace the um, stabilizer. I, I presume he told us that. Parts needed. Yeah, I, I don't I would know. Say, yeah. 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 So, so maybe sort of, um, you know, sort of where where the parts are is sort of is where the money is. Is that also where the cult of Stan might be, Alice? Um, I don't know, but if I were if I was to guess, I'd say probably. Okay, well that's enough for me. I guess we'll head out. If we do you know where this? Do we know this place is, Dean? Does Alice know where this place is? You you can try and uh, shrine that she's you can try and download general telemetry of the area, geometry and things okay. like that. Okay, let's do on the ship. Let's do that. Intelligence roll. I'll check in. Yeah. Uh, I will do an intelligence roll for you. Twenty three. Fine. Um, you have a general map of the of the surrounding 300 kilometers square, and you can see that about okay. uh, 50 kilometers north there is a massive construct that's been built out of the sands, um, and it's it's giving away energy signatures similar to the ones that the Altor gives off, and it's it's no mm. coincidence that the Altor is pulled down in this sort of direction. It looks like because um, from what you're reading, old old tech sorts sort of calls to each, to each other. Bits, you know what I mean? So they they generally get pulled down in the general mm. direction. So mm. Mara's done well to keep okay. you from slamming into it, basically. Which would have happened if she didn't roll so well. Hey, I um I'll pull it up on the main um, bridge terminal and mm -hmm. explain to Mara that we we should probably head here next. J just a quick recognition of how, of how awesome rolling ten straight successes was. Um, you guys were literally, I just need to tell you now, seconds away from ending the campaign there. Like, I know it didn't seem like it, but you literally were seconds away from, from ending the campaign. So, you know. Um, what am I? Ta da! Yes, so. <laughs> Thank God David wasn't rolling. Just like, uh, <laughs> Don't make me do that again. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank God. Cool. So, you guys 
Because uh, I, 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 I thought it would give David a little bit of satisfaction if I killed you all off in the next session, so I thought, well, you know, let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> you are such a bastard. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I don't think I'd have killed you all, I'd killed a few of you maybe, but you've, you all survived, which is very good. And ten, that's what 10 success, trait successes does. Uh, you, you guys all did quite well in the engineer room as well. So, um, you guys can choose to leave the ship whenever you want. Uh, I think we'll we're gonna fly nearer, but keep a safe distance away from the structure. Uh, the, sound... the ship literally can't get in the air because switching oh, the ship's engine air. on. Oh, but, but the void core stabilizer yes. needs to keep the engine from exploding when it turns on, or it'll just mm -hmm. and the void core stabilizer is not switching back on until you get those replacement parts. Okay. You have well, a shuttle, we're walking, don't you? Do you have a shuttle still? Uh, no, I don't we have, think we do. We, we have, have those like, spiders that we. That we flew into the um, yeah. Mm. Alistair died. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if we still He's... have those. Yeah, you do. I don't think we could fit them in. Oh, we do. Okay. Right. Let's do that. Okay. Let me, just, yeah, let me just uh, get my. Uh... He wants to take Alice in those. <laughs> well. It's, it's a confined space. Probably, so maybe probably the someone with that. low perception should take Alice. Yeah. Also, Alice can fly. Okay, yeah, no, that. Yeah, so. Sure, what's your perception? Uh, well, with these rules, it's gonna be, I think, eight. Let me see. Eight, Jesus Christ. No, six. I lied. Ha. Oh, uh, mine's six as well. So, why, why don't we roll off to see who gets Alice then? Let's do that. D6. I, who gets I, I, Alice or D6? D6, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'll be subjected to Alice then. <laughs> the dice have spoken. Alright, so th these are pretty small. Uh, they're, yeah. they're enough room for like two people max in them, so... Mm -hmm. um, Alright, you know yeah. what? I could take... So, I could take Shirk and Alice could take Caesar. Yep. There's no need to take all three Oops. if two people can fit. No? Agreed. Ooh, a spare? It works, yeah. Mm. Yep. Sounds like a good idea. So that way we have two people who actually know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and you know, actually, they have no weapons, by the way. These are literally transport fighters. They're not really. You know, okay. Oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. Transport fighters. Mm -hmm. Okay. You named them fighters. I I just said that they were like. You called them fighters. You called them fighters. Yeah, you did. Oh Amazing. well, well, retcon. <laughs> power power of the GM. Okay. Transport shuttles. Okay. Yeah, transport shuttles. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's let's go then. Alice, if you're ready, take us out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Are we, like, rolling? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You open the airlock, so the airlock is open. Mm -hmm. And you need to uh, roll three perception checks each. Thank you. For this flying. Okay. Whoosh. You're only plus five, oh, well, aren't you, Alice? Uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter yeah, on a natural plus, 100. It's sort of like, um... Wait, four... Wait, three D100 plus... Oh, four 114. Why did I regard that one in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, you roll. Um, I, Mara? I, okay. Fine. Glad Fine. I'm done that shit. Fine. So, so, so you're straight out. You literally... Your shuttle goes like... Dude, dude, and it's out. Okay, and um, Alice just goes dude, and then she goes to like just lift it up, and it's green straight into the ceiling of the uh, of the the altar, and you're just there, just there in your own shuttle, going, "My oh, fucking ship, stupid bitch!" And you're, and you're like just flying your own shuttle, <laughs> and uh, but the third one's successful enough to lower it and get it out. So, okay. Anyway. So. You are all careening across the <laughs> sands of this new planet, Relic, going straight towards uh, this huge, big temple. And as you careen towards it, you see, just in front of you, a massive, huge statue of a moped made out of scrap metal, as the pier. And um, 
with with the words with the words the the fire burns forever bright etched into it, and out the two things you know, the other two exhaust pipes, fire sprouting out, as it's as it's as you're going towards, and there's people like below you just dancing and just having a merry old time like it's Woodstock or something, and they're all just high off the tits, like completely off the tits, and you as you come down towards what looks like uh, a ramshackle building made of like thrusters and all sorts of things and the th there's two thrusters on either side of this and they're just throwing out fire into the sky and there's like people on like uh, mopeds riding around and you know mainly mopeds but there are some like m motorbikes as well and um, things like that and above in between the two flames you can you make out a statue of somebody and Alice you recognize that the statue has a very strong resemblance to Alaham, uh, Alahara. Hmm. And that's where we'll leave it for this session because uh, people need to go. It's only going to be an hour and a half. So. I still have a little time, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, well, we can carry on, but uh, yes. we'll be getting into I'm like down. more in-depth stuff in a minute, which is like. I, yeah, I don't. I don't technically have to leave for another like hour. Okay. Um, I've got to leave oh, in like cool. ten minutes, unfortunately. Okay. So I thought I thought everyone had to be gone by half nine, but it's okay. Um. Okay. We'll carry on for a bit. Should we leave there? Then? Yeah, we, carry on for you can, we can leave it there if you want, but it's just uh, yeah, we're not going to get much done in ten minutes, so. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe it would be best to sort of. Seems like a nice place to leave it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got any minutes. Okay, we'll we'll leave it at something. Yeah. We'll, uh, tomorrow is um, driftwood. Uh, mm -hmm. Three half three my time, so half seven your time, and then we, me and Sam, will probably be streaming something before then, and I'll be streaming something before after. then. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, me and Sam will probably stream something the after rush. then, and then I'll probably stream Dragon Age later on. So. 9.30 my time then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, 9.30 is just so early. Shut Man. up, Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, are we using Bodrum next? No. Yes. Okay, okay cool. cool. So, with the money we currently have... Yep, you can now get to decide what just what you're going to do with your with your ship. Um, I think we will uh, leave the stream there. I'll just switch the stream off. So, goodbye stream. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Um, I think we'll make the camera thing a, more, a, a thing now, because it's quite nice to see everyone's faces. Yeah, 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 it is quite nice. Next time I'll be ready for it. I haven't showered or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just like woke up yeah. with faces.